Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. When we last left off, we were about to go flush the Leviathan. So, let's have a little look at what we've got here. Well, oh, shh, okay. I actually thought we were fully loaded, but nope, we're good. We've got tons and tons and tons and tons of ammo. Not really much else, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of space. For now. Right, let's go. Let's take our flamethrower for a walk. Let's go. Flush the blockage. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I bet you miss your skin, don't you? Huh? Huh? You're looking a little bit thin and raggedy there, sir. Ooh. You want another? All right. Come on. There's nothing left but bones. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, dear. That was juicy. Dude. What the hell's the matter with you? Honestly. That was a tough cookie. I mean, he's quite stingy as well. Didn't really give us much for our trouble. Alright, let's go. Now this video will probably get an interruption. Because my partner will be coming home soon. As she should have finished. Oh, that's all right. Contamination <laughs> detected in food storage. Suffering airlock. Damn it. The airlock's open, but the Leviathan's too strong. Clinging to the interior of food storage. There's more enzyme. There's no time. I'm going in. I'm going in. Cut loose. The Leviathan has a 10 kiloton mass. Do you really need me to tell you this is a bad idea? Well, I'm all out of good ideas, so guess what's left? <laughs> Right, and my missus has come home, so one second, guys. Okay, as I was saying, let's go and flush a mighty large turd. Entering zero gravity. Now, you can see all of these specks and all of these dots are items. And we want all the items... Hello. Now, unfortunately, if we don't grab all of these items, we will lose them all. We don't want to lose no items. What else have we got here? You, pulse rifle, ammo. Yep, we're going to take a hit or two doing this, but it is what it is. It's kind of annoying. But that's okay. Right, let's see if we can do a little bit of damage to this ugly mofo. There we go. That'll do it. Now we want to try and grab everything we can because there's so much health here. Whoa. Right, let's grab you. There's another item down there as well. Alright, that's evasive maneuvers. Grab it. Have it. Right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, where were we? Ah, yes. Killing the beastie. Right, there's one. Let's see what else we've got going on here. There we go. Whoop! Now, any other goodies? Of course, there's always more goodies. There's so much here to collect. Like, it's absolutely devastating to not grab it all. So, we might as well. Right, I think that's basically all of it. So now... Oh no, there's another thing there. Nice. More ammo. 
Ah, wonderful. Wonderbar. That's okay. Hold steady, Isaac. Hold. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that's bad. That's fine. This is fine. Oh, God, this plasma cutter just does such a punishing amount of damage now. Oh, it doesn't like it. It does not like it. That's okay. I got my phone going and everything, guys. This is getting intense. Right, you're done. Luckily, we've got so much oxygen, it shouldn't matter. Having said that, even when I did this on my first run, we had just plenty of supplies. Oh, look. Oh, God. No. Whew. That got a little bit sweaty. Yeah, see, this is what I was kind of afraid of. I don't think we lost any items. I think we grabbed pretty much all of them. Now I know, I know, we might not need them all, but god damn it, I like my items. And they are very hard to see. When there's all this light. Anyway, whatever, let's go. Woo. Now, I don't know about you, but that Leviathan... Uh, is much easier than I thought it was. Exiting zero gravity. The air quality is improving. There's still pockets of gas trapped here and there. Here and there, I can handle. <laughs> Listen, Jacob, my Jacob. Last I heard, he was on the mining deck with some other survivors. He said they were building an SOS beacon. Did they finish it? He said it was nearly done, but I haven't heard from him in. A while. I can't leave yet. I need to make sure the air is safe to breathe. But if you can find that SOS beacon, call for rescue. I will. Mining deck. Okay, got it. And if I meet Jacob? Tell him. I'll find him. He's all I want to see. Well, dude. <sighs> Someone jettisoned all the others. Isaac, there's a shortcut to the mining deck. Your cross's workstation. I'll get it open. Alright. We might actually get out of this nightmare. Yes. Yes, we might. So, that rolls us off onto Chapter 7. You know, this game doesn't feel that big when you're flying through it like this. Um, my god. Right. What goodies do we have? We can sell the oxygen because we absolutely don't need this. Yeah, also, I this game just isn't very hard. Even when I went through it first time, it just... It's not a very challenging game at all. Um, which is interesting. Now, apparently the unstoppable difficulty or the hardest difficulty, whatever that's called. Um, that's actually the same difficulty as this mode. The only difference is, if you die, that's it. So, that does kind of make me think... It might not be that difficult. I mean... Ooh, nice. I'm certainly tempted to give it a go. Alright, what have we got in here? Ooh, weapon upgrade. Line gun. Now, I guess I didn't have that line gun upgrade. 
because you cannot pick up duplicate uh, upgrades. All right, and the upgrades are always in these big orange bins, uh, or these big yellowy orange and black bins. Um, now I didn't realise that, so uh, you know it was only quite late into my um, playthrough that I actually realised that those bins are openable because the light on them is actually quite subtle. Right, anyway, back to the mining deck. Open this up. And I do need to check as well. I do need to check that. Um, we're up to date on all of our the mining deck systems are running haywire. markers. Great. Let me work on the elevators. Any idea where Temple's SOS beacon might be? I'll check the mining control room. <clears throat> the launch tube's there. Could send out a beacon easy. Anyone there? Hammond? Where are you? In the vents, hoping they don't hear me. Yeah, those things are everywhere. No, the unitologists. They're all here on the crew deck. They've lost it. One of them stabbed her friend in the head. He just stood there. He, he fucking smiled. Oof. They're going somewhere. Hammond! Shit. Lost the signal again. We gotta find that beacon, Isaac. Fast. Well, you got it. Here's the mining deck. Excellent. So we can't grab that one yet. That's unfortunate. Uh, what do we got here? We have puzzles. We like puzzles. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. We have a node. A hidden node. Hidden nodes are the best nodes. Said no one, ever. Alright, okay. Let's get you out of the way. Yeah, I definitely want to have a go at the impossible run. The only thing that really... But I just... Ugh, instant death. Instant death is just... Miserable. Yes, yes. Blow it out of your ass. No one's interested in your nonsense. Yep, so we can open these master doors. Very interesting. Large med kit. Very nice. Another large med kit. Very nice. It's interesting that we don't have the ability to open the third level um, what do you call them? The third level doors. But we can open the master doors. That's just odd. I mean, I guess some of the third level doors are you know, locked because of uh, story reasons, but you know, it's kind of interesting. So what upgrade is this? What's that? Contact beam upgrade. Nice. So I must not have got that, because again, although I came in here, I guess I didn't realise that bin in the corner was... Um... A weapon upgrade. Cool. Well, whatever. Contact beam upgrade. Nice. Happy with that. Ah, oh, that also means... No, we need level 3. I was going to say, we could actually go and get that other rig, but no. No, we couldn't. It'd be nice if you could open all of these boxes. Maybe not the doors. But if we could open all these boxes, that would be pretty cool. But I guess that's a game's subtle way of doling out supplies. You don't have to worry about running out of supplies if the game is drip feeding them. Okay, so... Line gun upgrade. Nice. And contact beam. Right, let's have... A look at the contact beam. 
Alright, okay. Alright. Secondary fire damage. It's all pretty much secondary right now, so we've got primary fire damage there. Alright. That's interesting. So this is upgrade 3. So does that mean we've missed upgrade 2? Bearing in mind you can't miss anything, technically. Um... So we still need third upgrade for the flamethrower, which I don't think we're going to get any time soon. The line gun. We can completely upgrade the line gun now. Ripper we still need an upgrade for. Pulse rifle we still need. Plasma cutters maxed. What about the force gun? That was all. Yeah, the force gun's maxed. That's why it's such a big, beautiful weapon. Contact beam. Okay, so uh, I guess Duke, 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 um, Duke. I suppose secondary fire. I mean, secondary fire. That is monstrous. Like, what's that going to go up to? Maybe we need to experiment with the secondary fire on that bad boy. Okay, because we've got plenty of game left yet. There's still plenty of nodes to find. Although, from what I'm seeing, it looks like we probably need to complete the game roughly... Oh. Uh, roughly three times to get enough nodes to complete everything. Which isn't too bad. Because there are uh, there is an achievement for upgrading every weapon, and I do intend on upgrading every weapon. Fuck this ship. It's a shitty capitalist organization. <gasps> the man is speaking the truth. Straight facts, yo. Alright. Okay. Let's keep going. Get to the launch tubes. Two of the mining subducts are locked down, even though all systems are running. I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> Very strange. Always follow mining procedure deck. Uh, what's that? Always follow mining deck procedures. Keep all shields and guards in place. Never approach active machines. Read. Okay, Miss is going crazy with a hairdryer. Um, lel. Right, uh, let's go down. Now, hopefully it ain't gonna get saucy in here. Actually, talking of saucy, wouldn't be a bad place to try this out. Maybe. I mean, big, large elevator going down. Definitely not going to get infested with bad nicks. <gasps> Cow surprise. Come on, you ugly motherfuckers. Come on. Oh, hello. Not quite what I wanted. I say we're quite that close. Oh, hello. Oh, this got a charge. <laughs> wow. It doesn't even take that much power. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. Doesn't even take that much power to use it. That's going to be monstrous. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. That's okay. So, it's like a charge thing. And once it... Oh, hello. See the yellows of his eyes. Fuck you. Yeah, once they're charged up, you can squish his brain. I like it. Yes, sir. Right. 
Beware, traps ahead. Oh dear. Evening? No? Okay. Alright, whatever. Be like that. Die. Very original, very threatening, I'm sure. Ooh. Oh, hello. Um. Okay, they look pretty gnarly. Alright, well, I'm guessing we're gonna wanna block those beams up best we can. Alright, oh, hello. Thank you very much. Very kind of. Oh, hello. Come on. Don't need to hide. Rigged door. Do not use. Oof. <laughs> now that tells a story. Well, we know these necro guys can't read, I guess. Right. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to have to recycle. Re record. Don't throw away. Re record. There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, luckily these beams aren't as powerful as they probably could be. Well, that guy looks like he has um, some kind of mega weapon. Or at least had some kind of mega weapon. He's dead now. Probably all the better for it, too. Right. Stick that down there. Uh, we have qua a door. Now, we could... Oh, it's a storage door. Hell yeah, we're going to have a little peek inside. Ah, this room also tells a story. If I remember correctly, Ruby Semiconductor, certainly going to help. Ooh. I get excited every time I see that contact energy. Because it looks like a semiconductor card, but it isn't. Still, contact energy is nice. Credits. You can see this is a shop. But something gribbly <laughs> happened in this shop. Um, you know, probably don't want to think about what happened in this shop. I reckon we're going to find out what happened in this shop. Security request retrieved. Security, we got some freak called Harris stealing from ore storage. We know Dr. Harris. Dr. sent me for Osmium to complete his work. Yeah, I don't care if God Almighty sent you. You skim from CEC's profit margin, we get screwed. God? So, you can put that Osmium down, or I can break your arms first. Oof. I worked with people like you on Aegis 7. They'd steal my power nodes. Leave me to dig with no light. Hey, hey! Get off me! But when they abandon you in the dark, it's not empty. The marker whispered its revelations there. Now I understand them. Do you want to hear? Warning. Untrained personnel may not use suit kiosk. No! No! Stop! Please! I said please when they shut me in. Screamed it too. I promise I won't laugh like they did. Warning. Suit kiosk is obstructed. Serious injury may occur. Oh, God. Help me! Oh, that's rough. Filed to bridge by Dr. Nicole Brennan. See related rig activity. So, Harris, uh, murdered. Well, not exactly his friend, but he'd murdered someone. Find the report on the bridge. Well, we'll find ourselves um, back on the bridge eventually. 
So we can get the engineering rig. That only leaves two more rigs left that we don't have access to. That's okay. Right, onwards. Onwards and upwards. So Harris certainly was getting a little bit more fucked up as the game went on. I actually really like his character development in this. Ooh. You have no legs, sir. Or an arm. Oof. Sorry, brother. But there was no helping you. Okay. Ooh. I have another shop. A working shop. Hopefully a shop that nobody has been squeezed into just yet. Oh, dear. Well, let's try and stop this infection before it gets any worse. There we go. Now, I don't trust it, because rarely are those things on their own. Very rarely. Right, give me that. Um, let's power you up. That doesn't look as safe as it probably should be. Uh, gonna be honest, don't think any of this is uh, up to code. But who am I, I guess? Text log, plasma energy. A small amount of money. Oh, that's the other side of the door. That's really cool. That's the trap door. Oof, nasty. Okay, actually, didn't we find another node? We probably found another node. So, let's drop it in the contact beam. No, we did not find another node. A load of old ass. Alright, let's have a little read whilst we're here. Oh, hello. Alright, easy. Calm down. There you go. Feel better? Love the way you see them melt away. It looks so cool. So, what have we got here? Mining deck log. Entry 1. Secure the subdeck perimeter. IEDs, plasma cutters, trip wires, survey charges, three injured, and Lingen is out of action. Her medications run out. Rest of the supplies are holding so far. Ammo, food, water, and thruster fuel. Even without the stuff from the SOS beacon. Entry 2. Wired external access. All the mining bays are online now. Oh, coffee supply. Lovely. Um, all the mining bays are online now. Lingen is unconscious. Nothing we can do. Uh, they broke through the floor vent. One of those flying fucks went right for Lingen's body. And then we were fighting six instead of five. Cut them up and then skipped and then shipped it all down to the smelters for a quick cremation. I can't take any risks. Survey charge went off too soon. Lost, uh, is that shield, shield gel? That's a strange name. Fike and Zittle. Never seen the inside of a head before. Took them to the smelter to be cremated. <laughs> then supply inventory. Can't sleep. <laughs> He's taken a lot down to the smelter. Entry five, too dangerous here took some gear to hole up somewhere safer. McSweeney followed me yelling about being selfish. Me? He was the one leading those things right to me. Update. Fix McSweeney. Visited smelter. Can't sleep. So I guess McSweeney went to the smelter as well. Entry 6. Can't sleep. Cold. Can hear the others yelling. They're going to get me killed. Update. Lingland's right. I need peace and quiet. And the smelters need fuel. Oof. So he put himself in the smelters. Good old Lingen. Even though, you know, she's dead. Because 
They took her body. That's rough. I wonder what was wrong with her. Because she was sick and needed medication. He didn't have any medication. So she just died. Oof. Very rough. Anywho, guys. I'm going to leave it there. And when we come back, we're going to continue going deeper into the mining deck. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.